YouTube, YouTube, what is good? Let's go over today's trade. Okay, so I had a final today, so I couldn't really trade it, but let's look at it. So, we pop out on the 15-minute time, on the 3-minute time frame. Session start, baby. Boom. All right. So, we're looking for some... PDAs, boys. High time frame PDAs. So let's look on that 15 minute time frame. Right off the bat, I see a breaker. And just so we're aware, I did not take a trade today. I see a breaker. Okay. Also see an order block. Order block. Give me a second. Just a reminder for later. So now I've gone in fit three minute time frame. And we're kind of looking for a trade in between these two sessions. So as you guys can see, there is not a lot of room between these. So, I'm going to five minute, mark out something else. So, if we can get a price to retrace successfully down here. Also, I got to check out Forex Factory. Okay, so we had news at 8.30 and news at 9.45. So, red folder news. I mean, red folder news at 8.30. <coughs> So we're not going to take a trade till 8.30 passes. 8.30 hits. We see this. Break above this level. It's going to 15 minute time frame. And we see that price swept this. We see that price swept this. Forming buy side liquidity. Pushing into this fair value gap. And mitigating it. I'm pretty sure it mitigated it. Mitigating the for value gaps. So now, pretty much only looking for a sell right now. If you see a for value gap to the upside, you see you get disrespected. Right here. So, most likely if I were to trade today, I would have took a setup that looks something like this. I don't know if this setup is going to work. And it doesn't. But yeah, that's probably a setup I would have taken. Um, I mean, I, of course, I wouldn't trade it because of this. And news is just messed up the entire market. But yeah. Um, price does eventually end up rallying down. I don't know what price pushed up into. Maybe this order block. Um, there's also an order block there. I'm not sure, but you know that's why you don't trade on a high impact news. Because your setups probably won't be working. But yeah, boys. So that was kind of today's trade recap. Um, also, I've kind of been working with SMTs a little bit. Not going to get into that by any means. But, yeah. Alright. So, good video. I'll see y'all later.